Villages in the desert, a way of life for Bedouins in Israel, is now under threat. In Umm al Hiram, the Israeli government has already demolished a few houses. Now there are plans to destroy 35 entire villages in the Negev. Villages the Israeli government had declared illegal. And it's reported that homes could be built here for 10,000 Jews. Yet these people are Israeli citizens. Some have even been soldiers in the army. People were born here. They've been living here for 60 years. They know nothing except for this mountain. They say they want to bring in Israeli citizens, just like us. No problem. We can live with them, and then we can get water and electricity. This is what the Israeli government wants to happen. More and more urbanized units like this for Bedouins. The open spaces of their own land, gone for good. 8,000 Bedouins already live in Hura. There are six more relocation towns like this. And the plan is for them to absorb around 30,000 people from what the government calls unrecognized villages. Compensation will be on offer, enabling people to build with power and water supplies laid on. But it angers men like Khalil Alamor. His own street sign declares in Hebrew that his village was established in the Ottoman period. Khalil says the government is committing a crime against his people. We want to keep and maintain our lifestyle, our traditions, our uh, culture, and stay in our lands. In the Israeli or the Jewish uh, street, people have many ways to live. We here have to go to cities. Bedouins and cities, I think, are not going in the same way. Khalil, a schoolteacher, acknowledges that life has changed for many Bedouins. They need services like electricity and water, better education. But he believes the Israeli government will face fierce resistance if it forces people out of their homes. Andrew Simmons, Al Jazeera, in the Negev Desert.